everybody in. Hold on. Yes, let me know when everybody's in, and then I'll start. We have three members of the public coming in. I have one more one second, okay. Okay. All right, we're good? Yep, we're good. Uh, this regular meeting of June 25th, 2020 of Bradley Beach Planning Board is now called to order. At this time, I would like everyone other than uh, board members, attorneys, uh, our professionals to play, uh, please mute themselves. All right, will everyone please rise for our Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the, the United, United States, States of America, America and, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, God indivisible, indivisible liberty, and liberty and justice for all. For all. Uh, the 48 hour notice as required under the Open Public Meetings Act has been met as notices regular virtual meeting was emailed on June 8th and published in the Asbury Park Press, the co-star and the co-star. A copy has been placed on the bulletin board in the borough office and a copy has been filed with the borough clerk. Chair Shook? Here. Mr. Albanero? Here. Mayor Engelstad? Here. Mr. Waterman? Here. Uh, Mr. Gubatosi? Here. Mr. Rosenthal? Here. Mr. Jung? Here. Ms. DeMarco? Here. Ms. Russo? Here. And Mr. Maynard? Here. And also present this evening, Monica Kowalski, attorney of the board, and Christine Bell, our board planner. Gerald Frieda will not be with us this evening. Uh, we have the approval of the minutes. Did everyone have time to read the uh, meeting minutes of May 28, 2020? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Uh, I would like to make a motion to approve the meeting minutes of May 28, uh, 2020. Second that motion. Marco. Uh, Mr. Maynard? Yes. Mr. Marco? Yes. Mr. Jung? Yes. Mr. Rosenthal? Yes. Mr. Gubatosi? Yes. Mayor Engelstad? Yes. Mr. Albanier? Yes. And Chair Shook? Yes. Uh, we have no resolutions or anything to memorialize. Uh, before we move on, I would like to have our attorney, Monica Kowalski, inform everyone uh, of tonight's procedures with the ordinances that we will be discussing. Monica? Monica, you're on mute. Unmute, please. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, with regard to the consistency res uh, determinations for the, the ordinances which were provided, the practice so the general public can be aware is that the uh, planning board review was provided with the ordinances in advance because the ordinances are crafted by the town council. They are provided under the municipal land use law to the planning board for determination as to whether the provisions contained therein are, are consistent with the master plan as adopted. And those, um, the consistency, the board can then make de um, recommendations perhaps to go back um, by, by way of resolution or a resolution of consistency to the council and then any public comment um, although the public is, you know, obviously welcome to listen to the discussions taking place herein, any public comment on the content of the resolutions uh, and the pending ordinance would take place at the town council level. So that is why they do a first reading of the ordinance. They send it for recommendations and then it goes back for a second reading. So I encourage every, uh, every member of the public to obviously take notes, but tonight there will not be an opportunity for the public to comment on the actual, uh, the consistency aspect. That, that is solely the, the purview of the planning board, but certainly by all means take notes. And then this way when the ordinance is up for its second reading, that would be the appropriate time. 
Okay. Uh, 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 all right. Uh, with this ordinance, uh, I would like to make some recommendations uh, to the mayor and council. Uh, the first one would be under 24-30 definitions, establishment of the Shade Tree Commission membership terms under the letter D. You follow me, Christy? Yeah. Okay. At the end, what I, uh, well, actually it states, any vacancy occurring in the membership of the commission by reason of death, resignation, or removal shall be filled for the unexpired term by an appointment by the mayor in consultation with the council. I would like to make note that uh, in there should also maybe state something that uh, that person becomes an alternate number two and everyone moves up. Okay, Mr. Chair, can you just repeat that to me again with the, with the paragraph number? Uh, that would be, uh, let's see, 24 30 yep. under the letter D, D yep. as in David. Yes. So you're and saying all other appointments except to fill vacancies shall be made to take effect the first day of January of each year for a full term of five years? Uh, no, 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 no. 24 30 dash. Uh, I think 30. it's. Mr. Chair, I think it's E as an elephant. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I have it as D. Okay, I'm sorry. I would like it where, uh, what you would call it, it would state that uh, the position uh, will be designated as alternate number two, having all the previous alternates uh, members move up. Are we okay with that? Yeah. Got it. And then the other recommendation I would have is under 270 25. If you scroll down. <laughs> and that would be uh, tree and grass planting strips. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, I will, I will. 270, you said dash 25? Yes, I'm All just right. gonna- No, that's fine, I just wanna down. get to the page so I can see exactly what you're yeah. referencing. You yeah. know? Yep, no problem. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I believe it's going to be like the fourth line down where it says the borough will not be liable for any damage uh, occurred to mm -hmm. the, I would like to add the word sprinkler system or artificial grass while any work, comma, snow, ice removal or act of God transpires. I would like to put the, uh, which one? Why don't, we, why don't we just say borough activities with regard to maintenance? Uh, well, they have it specified to, as to uh, what they wouldn't be liable to. So I figured let's add the sprinkler system because everybody has that already in the planting strip. Or actually, we could even do it if you go a little bit, a couple of, uh, one more sentence down. The borough or contractor for any work being performed other than a sprinkler system, no other. Uh, well, no, we're ju just up there. Just leave it up there. Where the borough's not responsible for any damage to any sprinkler system. That would be. I'll add sprinkler there. system. Yes. Okay. Uh, is everybody okay with that so far? All right. Uh, then I would go into uh, removal of trees. Uh, that would be 450.21. Uh, 
Okay. Yes. Hold on. Have a Christy. I have it. I was I'm waiting for Monica. Make sure she 4521. has it. Okay. okay. Yes. Uh, in between uh, A and B, uh, I guess uh, at the end of A, I would like to have inserted in there a homeowner who wishes to remove trees from the front, rear, or side yard setbacks on their lots on which they reside are exempt from this section. It, you know, uh, tree, tree removals in the public right of way or right of way. Oh, well, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm getting a lot of reverberation. Oof. Somebody have multiple audio on Zoom? Yeah, I'm because we're getting a lot of feedback. Is there any way we could mute we them? One, one audio device, one video device. Are we good? I think so. Now, yeah. I it might have been me. Okay. Basically, uh, what I would like to see in there is a homeowner who wishes to remove trees from the front, rear, or side yard setbacks on their lots in which they reside are exempt from uh, this section. Tree removals in the public right of way or borough right of way must adhere with Chapter 425 of this code. Uh Mr. Chair, on, on this yeah. one, um, that's exactly contrary to what was intended. So I just want to make sure people know where that's a more substantial change. Uh, right. It is. It is. And like I said, uh, I, I can understand this ordinance being in the uh, planting strip on Main Street uh, and things of that nature. But uh, we are basically... Uh, putting a huge burden on the residents of Bradley Beach by imposing uh, the, uh, uh, called the permit, the fee structure, uh, you know, on their own properties. If we have an individual, the way I see it is, if I have an individual who bought a, a property, their house, and they love the trees, you know, for shade or whatever, I'm okay with that. But then we have a homeowner who buys it several years later. Now he's burdened with the cost to remove these trees. And I don't think it's fair to him if he has the children and he wants to make a playground in the backyard or uh, give them somewhere to play in the front yard if, if they're limited. And I think, and I, I understand that. And I've heard many of uh, the residents raise a similar concern. I'm just pointing out that at least for the purposes of this ordinance, the goal was to ask uh, such a person to request a permit. They're able to remove the tree. They're asked to request a permit and, uh, and plant a, a replacement tree somewhere else on their property, in a planting strip, on a neighbor's property. That's, the idea is to try to better manage the sometimes wanton uh, removal of trees. Well, but like I said, this is only a recommendation. The mayor and council is going to uh, look into it, I hope, uh, especially even with the fee structure that's uh, proposed, uh, which I will get into uh, later on. But like I said, this is a recommendation and if the rest of the uh, board uh, does not see it, you know, and doesn't agree, then uh, we'll strike that out. I don't yeah, have per, perhaps perhaps it would be easier if we you know if we go one by one and uh, get the board's opinion as to each mm -hmm. amendment you would like to add because uh, you know I, I would I would say let's vocalize it first and do a discussion like with the first one did anybody have a did anybody have any uh, objection to or wanted to amend where the position would be de designated as alternate number two with all with all prior members being stepped up? Was there was there an issue with that? Do you want to do a call of names next? Or? Yes, I, I think Chris, the general discussion is fine. Doesn't have to be doesn't have to be by a straw poll. I mean, you know, 
Okay. Well, that, I, I, in the beginning, I was asking if any, if everyone was okay with it. I guess they didn't hear that, but that's okay. Let's do it now. Okay. I, I'm okay with it. I agree. I have, I have no objection. So no objection. Okay. Was there any problem with adding a sprinkler system to the designation for borough liability? No. No. Okay. So now we're on where the where the chair is proposing an amendment based on you know a homeowner who wishes to remove trees from the front and rear side uh, front rear or side yard setbacks are exempt from the section um how does the rest of the board feel about this amendment because you know let's keep in mind that it has to be a you know a board review and a board resolution so you're going to be voting on the resolution so we need some ag agreement on what's going in there i would agree with bill on that it's it's a hardship for some homeowners they just bought a house and they enough enough permits and stuff and i wouldn't want my neighbor plant, planting a tree on my land i mean my yard so well, no i <laughs> just say <saying. laughs> i mean mark it would obviously not be forced upon you you know i know i know I was, your neighbors would just be planting a tree somewhere in the borough that someone else would welcome right i understand but i still agree with bill on this one okay What's going on? Uh, Christy, you just uh, gave Christy, us- Christy, is that you? It looked like Raphael, Raphael no, was sharing. It's Raphael. That's oh, Raphael's right. sharing. Okay. Raphael, you want to remove that sharing? <laughs> um, I'm not sure how to do it. Got it. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, Thank got you. It. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Doug, you. Uh, what about you, Doug? Um, I'm. I'm. I heard your discussion, and I think you bring up some good points. So I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. All right. Well, Amy. Are you okay with that, Amy? Amy, got to unmute. Unmute. I sorry, I'm fine with it. I really, to be honest with you, I don't. I, I don't really have much of an opinion on it. But okay, that's okay. Fair enough. George, I'm fine with it. It's, it's a recommendation. I mean, it's, it's something to be considered and to be asked to be looked at. I have no issue with that. Yeah. Meredith. I'm very torn on this just because I understand the intent is to, uh, you know, discuss, um, you just kind of want to cut it down willy nilly. It's not really aimed at disease trees. Um, but at the end of the day, like George just said, this is a recommendation and a majority of the um, commissioners seem to be in agreement. So I'm okay putting it forward as a recommendation. Okay. Uh, Gary? I'm assuming that I set this conversation out, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Probably <Raphael? good> <laughs> no, uh, let me, uh, Monica, um, is that correct? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah I mean, yes. <laughs> okay. I mean, I have opinions and I'll express them at the next meeting when it comes back to us. All right. Good. All right, Gary. Thank you. Raphael? I'm fine with it. Okay. Okay. All right, moving along. All right. Yes, the next one is, uh, it's, it, it's more of a, a, a question, and that would be under 425-3, approval required. I'm sorry, where are you, where are you again? 425-3. Okay. 425-3. Uh, it's uh, approval required. <clears throat> now, it, in reading it all, uh, I didn't see anywhere where it's mentioned, uh, which we do have, and that would be the state or the county roads uh, there right away. Would we need permission from them? And if so, maybe we should add something in there or the mayor and council should add something in there on how they would go about it since it's I'll just i can effective. i can just put a reference into um that the council should explore whether or not the county or state would have to be notified 
Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Is everyone on the board okay with that recommendation? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Then we uh, move on to 425-10. Uh, and that would be uh, application for tree removal permits. Okay. Uh, I, for one, uh, like I stated before, it would be a hardship to the residents of Bradley Beach to apply for a permit, uh, whatever the cost may be. Uh, I don't know exactly. I think I seen something like $45 and then there would have to be an inspection of $100 or whatever it is. I don't know. I think the mayor and council should carefully look at that and, you know, try to do something with that uh, added fee to the homeowners. But, the, you know, like I said, that's my personal thought. But under the letter C, if we go in there, where it says uh, sketch printed plan, I would like the mayor and council to look into uh, having it also submitted electronically. We are right, so you're so we're looking yeah. at fee. You 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 want the borough council to review fees? Yes, for these uh, permits. Whether it's for uh, permits and under and under section C, you would like electronic filings. And D and also D. I mean, uh, with, with the time frame that uh, I've been reading in here, uh, and it states as far as uh, sending it to uh, the uh, officer, commissioner, whoever, by mail, you know, I hate to see a, the time lapse and they say, well, I sent it to you because, uh, you know, the mail is so slow. You know, I, I don't want to see them get punished by it. And that's why I'm thinking that electronically driven would put a timestamp on it that shows proof when they sent it and everything else. I'll just, I'll make the recommendation, Mr. Chair. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know what their application form is going to look like. I don't know if it's going to require a notarized signature, whether or not, um, and typically many applications do require a notary. So, you know, it's going to be up to the council also to determine, you know, whether those type of electronic, you know, digitally certified signatures are applicable. So they, that may be why there's a mail, why, why there is a mail provision in there, but we can certainly add the recommendation for electronic filings consideration. Uh, yes, I would like that. This way here protects, it protects everybody. You know, sure. there's a time, you know, a stamp on it and, you know, the, somebody can't say, well, I put it in the mail and you didn't receive it or whatever. It's, it, everyone's covered. Uh, then, uh, let's see, under uh, Schedule A and B, uh, like I said, I, I, I would like to see the Mayor and Council review that closely. Uh, hopefully, they would reduce that uh, fee structure uh, drastically, if possible. I mean, it is a lot of money that we're talking to impose on the homeowner to remove a tree, uh, you know, purchase and uh, pay for a uh, relocation of another one or whatever. I agree. That is, it gets pricey. Mm. Very. Mm. The idea is that help the town, not necessarily make money for the town, I think. This to me is like a kind of a money, well, it may not be a money maker, but it's costing the, the homeowner a lot of money to do yes. this. And that's why I would like to make a recommendation that the mayor and council <clears throat> carefully look at that, review it, 
and come up with uh, a dollar figure that would be acceptable maybe to all residents. Yeah, I uh, or I should say affordable to all residents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because we do have a lot of seniors that own property and you know, if they need to remove a tree, I don't know how they're going to do it, especially if they live on a, uh, you know, on a pension or social security or whatever. So under schedule A and B, the board's requesting consideration of fee reductions under the proposed schedules for consideration of the affordability of residents in the borough. Yes. Okay. And then under 425-12 appeals, Uh, -huh. uh, let's see, under B1, adding the word, submitting it electronically, hmm. electronic filing as needed. So and once again, I will put requesting consideration of electronic filings. Yes, on B1 and B2. B1 and B2, okay. Hmm. Uh, under 425-13, enforcement. I, again, uh, let's see, uh, an appeal to the Shade Tree Commission is taken by submitting written notice as well as submitting it electronically. And that would be under A1, 2, and 3. Okay, A1, 2, and 3. Okay. Does anyone uh, on the board have any other recommendations uh, to the mayor and council in reference to this ordinance? I guess so. so let me let me read through them at this time under section 24-30e with regard to the terms um, and the vacancy you're looking you're, you're making a recommendations that the positions will be designated as alternate number two with all prior members uh, being on a stepped up basis under section 2070-25 we are adding the term sprinkler systems under mm -hmm. section 450-21 the homeowner uh, a homeowner who wishes to remove trees from the front year or so front, rear, or side yard setbacks are exempt from this section. Under section 425-4, the borough council should explore whether county or state would have to be notified for right-of-way issues in a public thoroughfare. Under section 424-10, your recommendation for application for tree removal permits is the borough council is requested to review fees for permits under section C and D and, elect, uh, and I'm sorry, and under section C and D electronic filing should be considered. Schedules A and B, the board requests consideration of fee reductions under the proposed schedules for consideration of the affordability of the residents in the borough. Section 425-12 appeals under sections B1 and B2, you're also requesting consideration of the addition of electronic filings. And under section 425-13, you're on uh, the enforcement provision, sections section A, uh, one through three, you're also requesting the consideration of the addition of electronic filings. Uh, yes. Uh, going back to 425, uh, wait a minute, I'm sorry, uh, 425 dash 21, removal of trees. Do we need to place in there as a last sentence, tree removals in a public right of way or borough right of way must adhere with chapter 425 of this code? Okay, it is recommended that tree removals in a public right of way adhere to the sections of this code. There you go. Ooh, uh, what does everybody think? Uh, we're talking about the planting strip area. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that is an important area as far as the trees and it, it does produce shade and 
you know, and everything else. Uh, this is the borough right away. Shall I put included but not limited to the planting strip area? Uh, I guess so. Because we don't know exactly what other public right of ways could be involved. Right. It could be the parks or right. wherever. Is everyone all right with that uh, wording on the board? Sounds right to me. I am. Okay. Okay. I'm fine with it. <clears throat> all right. Does anyone have any uh, other recommendations or questions or anything else like that? Uh, seeing no hands or hearing none. I had uh, one, one thing though. What was that? I had one thing under 425.13. Go ahead. Violations and penalties. Uh, A3. Can we add an appeal to the governing body there as well, as is shown in 425.12 under appeals? Oh, wait a second. 425.13 has no appeal process to the governing body. A3. 425.13. Enforcement officer shown. Uh, You said 425.13? Right. No, yeah, 425.13, and he's looking at A3. A3. So, her design is a few portions. The Shade Tree Commission review. Okay, well, it's actually going to back to the commission as a whole. Right. So, it, it, that that is their appeal. So, then okay. you, you really can't, you know, you can't really kick it back up the line because after that point, they would have, they would, Let's say let's say the commission then denies you know that 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 appeal so to speak, you mm -hmm. know then they fall into a prerogative writ action so it doesn't get stepped up back to the council it goes it goes laterally into a court system if they're inclined. Okay, under four twenty five twelve, there's an appeal process to the government governing body under B two. That's what I was getting to A three. Mm -hmm. I think it would probably be better, Mr. Maynard, to actually put in a review of the 425.12 appeal. Okay. So, um, That's okay. That's fine. I'm because the, the Shade Tree Commission is actually being created by statute. So I would actually have to read, and I, I, I don't have the Shade Tree, I don't have the statute in front of me. I'm not sure if the statute would allow for a direct appeal um, back to the governing body, but I can, I can certainly, you know, add in that those two areas, 425.12 and 425.13, be reviewed for, uh, for an appeal back to the governing body and whether same is appropriate. How's that sound? That's good to me. Thank you. That sounds good to me. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Um, let me ask a, a question regarding uh, beyond tonight, and we are going through a number of modifications for, um, you know, at this meeting, but going forward, once this is approved and presumably sent back to, um, to council, um, how will future modifications be handled within the context of this ordinance? I don't see any specific language about that. And it may not be necessary because it's covered under, you know, general procedures. But as we are adopting this new ordinance, I, I'm just curious, you know, how will future modifications to this uh, be handled? How will future modifications to the ordinance be handled? Yes. It's yeah. the same process if they're going to amend. So this is yeah. all, these are only consistency determinations for purposes of the master plan. So quite frankly, the recommendations being made right now really are not quote unquote master plan um, determinations, but I, you know, they're, they're 
they're certainly you know valid recommendations to make to the council mm -hmm. so we send them back and now the council will will you know take the recommendations into consideration and either revise the proposed ordinance in accordance with considerations may do some may do none um, that ordinance will then be, you know, open to the public for discussion and it will be, you know, approved by the council and should further or future amendments be made, it's the same process. They will basically send us their proposed revisions. There's another consistency determination and it goes back. So. Okay. okay. That's what answers your question, Doug. Pardon me? That no, I was in, in reading this through, I mean, I saw the only, um, you know, the only area where it was expressly where something might change in this ordinance uh, uh, procedurally within this ordinance is the last uh, 425.15 regarding severance. Mm -hmm. So that raised to me the question, well, if something is to be you know, uh, uh, severance, um, what would we, you know, just for the record, how would modifications to this going forward be handled? So I just wanted to put that on the table so I could understand, you know, right. clearly beyond this, Beyond tonight's discussion, future modifications, um, how would that be? Um, how would that be handled? So, right. Just, just well, for information. No, no, no. It's a good question. Good question. Anyone else uh, from the board have any recommendations or questions in reference to this ordinance? I have one on four twenty-five dash eleven. Four twenty-five eleven. Yeah, and it's a minor thing, but under E, um, the permit should not be transferable. Shouldn't it be allowed to be transferable for the property? I mean, so if somebody was going to do something and maybe they sold the property within months of being able to have this permit done with a new person, if they want to do that too, should they have to get another permit for that? It seems a little bit of a more work for a new buyer than necessary if it's already approved. And within obviously within a recent reasonable amount of time. Uh, I thought I read somewhere is that there's a time frame of when a tree can be removed or uh, whatever. I think there was a one year time frame. I'm just reading under E. And there it says permanent. Yeah, yeah. No, I understand what you're saying, but I, that's why I was saying. I thought I read somewhere where there was a time frame of how long this, uh, you know, permit or uh, whatever would last. So why don't we just include borough council should review the transferability of permits within a certain time frame? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. I'm good with that. Okay. Okay, we have yep. that, Monica? Yeah. Would you I, like me to read them back as I have them? Uh, yes, and also let everyone know that uh, this is, you know, once we make a motion to forward this to the mayor and council, that all the uh, residents of Bradley Beach will have their time at the mayor and council meeting to discuss this and with the recommendations, so on and so forth. Right. So as, as described earlier, you know, in the evening, yes, all of these recommendations will be sent to the borough council. It should be reviewed at their next meeting for uh, consideration in terms of inclusion, inclusion into the proposed ordinance. And certainly the public will be able to comment on the terms of the proposed ordinance at that time. So right now we have, let's see, the planning board is advising the borough council to review uh, the proposed ordinance as particularly described here in section 24-30E, the terms and vacancy, the position should be designated as alternate number two with all prior members moving on a stepped up basis. Hold on, let me just add that. Okay. Now, uh, section 27-25, add sprinkler systems. Section 450-21, a homeowner who wishes to remove trees from the front, rear, or side yard setbacks are exempt from this section. It is recommended that tree removals in the public right of way adhere to the sections of this code, including but not limited to the planting strip area. Section 425-4, Borough Council should explore whether county or state would have to be notified for right of way issues in the public thoroughfare. Section 424-10, application for tree removal permits. Borough Council is requested to review fees for permits under sections C and D electronic filing should be considered. 
schedules A and B, the board requests consideration of fee reductions on the proposed schedules for consideration of the affordability of residents in the borough. Section 425.11, the borough council should review the transferability of permits within a certain time frame. Section 425.12, appeals, sections B1 and B2, requesting consideration of additional electronic filings. Section 425.13, enforcement, uh, section A-1 through 3, requesting consideration of the additional electronic filings. And section 425.12 and 425.13, the board is recommending that council review the provisions for appropriateness where the governing body is deemed to be the appellate body for purposes of permit denials. Okay, we're good. Okay. Uh, Everyone's okay with it? Yeah. Uh, good. All right, good. With, with that being said, uh, I make a motion that ordinance 2020-9 is consistent with the land use and other elements of the current borough Bradley Beach master plan and also move the recommendations as discussed be submitted to the mayor and council. I'll second it. Mr. Maynard? I agree, yes. Ms. Russo? Yes. Mr. Gubitosi? Can't hear you. Al, you're, you're muted. unmuted? Yep, sorry, I had to unmute. Um, I believe I have to abstain then because I'm a member of the council. Yes. Thank I you. abstain. Sorry. Ms. DeMarco? I, you know, as Monica said, stated this meeting relates only to the consistency in terms of the goal of the master plan. Um, I certainly don't advocate for or enjoy the thought of the removal of healthy trees for most purposes. And I do, do want to say the Environmental Commission had other concerns that are best suited to be addressed directly with the council. So in terms of this ordinance um, being consistent with the master plan, my vote is yes. Uh, Mr. Rosenthal? Yes. Mr. Chung? I say yes. Mr. Waterman? Yes. Mr. Albanero? Yes. And Chair Show? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, moving on. Uh, ordinance number 2020 10 of the Borough of Bradley Beach uh, to amend and supplement chapter five, administration of the government and chapter 450 zoning of the revised general ordinance of the borough to clarify the administration of zoning permits, applications and to locate such provisions in a more uh, intuitive uh, and readily accessible uh, location within the code for a application introduced at the borough council meeting on May 26, 2020. Under that ordinance, under ordinance, uh, let's see, uh, Steve. Yes. If I can, I just wanted to uh, announce that I'm going to recuse myself from that discussion. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Warman. <laughs> Right, since it uh, pertains to you, I understand. <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay. Take care. Uh, well, hopefully this is going to help you, George. Uh, what I'm looking to, uh, you know, make a recommendation to you and the mayor and council under uh, C, zoning permits. Under, Again, wait a uh, second, C, which C? Uh, uh, that would be... Uh, of oh, hold on, hold on. 450 okay. 79. Okay, got it. Thank you. I'm sorry, I, I, I went, I scrolled too fast down. 450 79, okay. Okay. Yes, under uh, C, zoning permits. There again, uh, on the number two and three, uh, let's see, uh, Three, uh, three copies of current survey site plan, three uh, sets of construction plans, as well as one copy of, of all submittals electronically supplied. That will help George with everything. And uh, also I believe that uh, if someone should open the application, 
it's electronically and our zoning officer would be able to, or uh, our secretary would be able to submit it electronically to whoever is operating that application. Okay, Mr. Chair, the, the only the only consideration I, I I would I would revise with regard to that is sometimes, and, and I'm I'm certainly going to put in that the the you know the board is suggesting the additional submission of electronic uh, documents. However, sometimes you also have to remember that when they are submitting the documents electronically, they're not going to get the scale on things like plans and surveys, and that may affect someone's reading of the plans for purposes of pushing those plans forward or or opposing them. So, the the actual provision mm -hmm. of the plans and surveys in the in the three sets to you know uh, to the zoning office is a necessity. But if you want them also provided additionally by you know electronic delivery that's fine but i wouldn't necessarily rely on the electronic delivery all the time because it gets skewed well i'll put it this way it's for there this would be for the borough's records and uh once it's scanned if they go uh, send it to a uh, staples or whatever uh when they uh print them out they'll be printing them out to scale Unless someone wants to uh, do reduced sizes, it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't quite work that way because people who are scanning plans, unless they are the professionals with the large 3D plat scanners, will never get them correct. So I'm just making you aware well, that we can certainly request it, but it should always be in addition to the hard copies being filed. Right. Right. That's what I'm saying. It should be in addition to the hard copies being submitted. Okay. Uh, the Generally, the individuals that are submitting this uh, would have all professionally uh, uh, documents. It would be an engineer or, uh, you know, a planner or an architect or whoever. Well, and let's let's keep in mind, though, let's keep in mind, though, that your residents are allowed to file their own applications and some of them do. That's why I'm just pointing out some of them do their own CAD drawings. But you have to keep in mind the information that you are providing to the public under an OPRA request has to be exact because those people, should they want to oppose that application, have the right to be provided with the correct information. So God forbid the borough doesn't, it becomes a problem for the borough when I know you're trying to support the borough. So that's why, you know, it's, it's great to have it on file in a computer file somewhere. And if it comes from a professional on a 3D scanner, it works perfectly. More often than not, that's not the case. So I just, you know, I just wanna make you aware that that is a, that is a potential issue. Okay, all right. Well, we, uh, I would like to see that added in two and three as a recommendation. Sure. All right. And that's all uh, that I would have under uh, that, uh, uh, what you call ordinance. Does uh, anyone uh, on the board have any uh, recommendations other than what I sent? No. No, no I do not. Anyone? No. We're good with that ordinance. Okay. All right. Okay, so the section would read 45079C, sections two and three. Uh, the board suggests that submissions also be provided electronically to scale where appropriate, but same shall not substitute for hard copy filings. Is that satisfying? Correct. Thank you. Okay. With that being said, I would like to make a motion uh, to. Uh, Move ordinance 2020 dash uh, nine. Oh, the, con the consistency resolution. Right. Uh, consistency uh, with the land use and other uh, elements of the current Borough Bradley Beach master plan. And also move the recommendation as discussed uh, be submitted to the Mayor and Council. I'll second. I, I think you gave the wrong number, Bill. Uh, dash 10. I, you're right. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Yes. Mayor. Yes. Yes. Ms. Russo? Yes. Mr. Marco? Yes. Mr. Rosenthal? Yes. Mr. Jung? Yes. 
Uh, Mr. Albanair? Yes. And Chair Shook? Yes. Okay, uh, applications, we have uh, none. Uh, let's see, our next uh, scheduled meeting, uh, regular meeting will be on uh, Thursday, July 23rd, 2020, Christy, am I correct on that? Correct. Okay, and that'll be at uh, 6.30, uh, possibly on Zoom, uh, maybe at Borough Hall, uh, we have yet to see, but for now, uh, we're going to have to say on Zoom, and Christy will notice everyone as far as that meeting date. Uh, let's see. Uh, with no further business before the board, I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I want to thank everyone for attending our meeting, and uh, please stay safe and healthy. Thank you, Mr. Well, Chair. Thank you. Chairman, thank you, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thanks.